Whoa, 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 what's up, guys? Another one here with more World of Tanks. Not quite daily subscriber replays anymore. I hope you saw the video I released Monday. Because you would know I'm not doing these every day anymore. The reason is because I moved your phone, bro. That's not really the reason. <laughs> I'm not doing it because I moved my son's phone. I'm <laughs> I am not doing it them every day because I would like to play some other games and they are taking up too much time. Watching all of your guys' replays while super entertaining and every one of the replays is awesome. I can't spend that much time watching replays. So this replay, ELC, AMX, pretty awesome tank, very fun little scout tank. I think it gets scout matchmaking, pretty sure. Um, every time I say that, someone says yes and someone says no, so whatever. I think it, don't, I don't think it only goes up to tier 9, though. I don't think they see a tier 10. Correct me if that's wrong. I know you guys will. I appreciate it. So, pretty fun little tank. This is Funky Chicken sent this in. He's on Cliff Standard Battle here, and this is a very pretty typical scout scouting area right here. And he's going to do a really good job right here with a little bit of active scouting, scouting the whole enemy team right here for his buddies. Some of them cannot be fired on yet. There is no, there are no arty in this game. Is no arty, whatever. But he still gets. XP for spotting them, being the first to spot, gets a lot of XP and credits for that. Um, and it's still good because it shows the allies where the enemy team is deploying. As you can see, a lot of them are deploying into the center there. And I think the friendly team has a pretty good dis distribution. Maybe I would have put a couple more at the donut there, the donut being, if you're looking at my cursor, right here on the minimap, that's the donut. I'd put more people there. The donut is really a huge place to have control on this map because if you have the donut the one two line you can just murder it which is probably what these guys are going to do if they would stop dying <laughs> they seem to be dying pretty quick so funky chickens taking some shots at the enemy here that gun on the elc is ridiculously amazing especially in a tier six battle i mean that that's got to be fun for him which is part of the reason and he's making some really lousy shots for the first part of this game seems to be pretty typical 170 pen, 240 damage, just a really long reload time. Uh, 18 seconds, or is that a, how many shells? That's the shells. Okay, 12 second reload time. Five shells per minute. That's a long time for a tier, uh, tier 5. But it's got 170 pen, 240 damage. It's a nice gun. The accuracy, not that great. Boom! 20 zero, one, taken out. You know, when you're in a tier 6 game, though, that's a ridiculous gun. Um, this is not how a lot of people drive this tank. A lot of times they do drive-bys, and I would love to see an ELC game where you're just basically doing drive-bys. I think I've showed you a couple in Season 5 replays. Um, but he's still using it very, very effectively here. You don't have to do drive-bys in this thing. You don't have to drive this thing and use the gun, right? He's mainly scouting right now. He actually transitions later in the in the battle. He's mainly scouting people, not really shooting all that much. You know, when he, he has a chance, he shoots. Once everybody's lit up, he's, he's kind of firing, but it's not really his sole purpose here. Boom! You're dead. Taking guys out. So, he's already doing a great job. He's got two kills. He's got 282 damage. Doesn't seem like a lot, actually, but that's because those guys were, you know, not full health. Um, but he's... You know, for a scout, that's pretty good. A scout that can take out two tanks, you're, you're really having a good game, you know? You're doing all that scouting, and you're taking out tanks. Now, he's having a hard time scouting the enemies on the sixth line right there. I think they're just underneath the mountain. I don't think he can see them. M7 on enemy team, and Hellcat there at D8 really making the rounds. That is bad news for, for the friendlies. Friendlies are down five tanks. This is not looking good at all. Funky Chicken might have been doing all this scouting for almost nothing. Let's see what he can do, though, to help. There's the Hellcat, totally exposed. There you go, buddy. 256 damage. You think your gun's awesome, huh? I'm a tier 5 and I have a better gun. I'm just kidding. Hellcat's gun better, but <laughs> this gun does a relatively similar amount of damage, so... It still hurts like a bitch when you get hit by this thing. Boom! Hellcat goes down. That's going to make life a lot easier for the enemy, or the friendlies, but they lost somebody anyway. They're still down five tanks. This is bad now. It's four tanks versus nine. Yeah, this is looking really bad. They're down six tanks now. M7 gets lit right in the side. Nice damage right there. Friendlies, almost dead. 
Let's even get another hit on this M7. I don't know what this enemy team's thinking. I just got hit for like a thousand billion damage from the hill. I'm just gonna ignore it, you know? Nah, it's no big deal. It is a big deal. Um, you're dying. <laughs> Doesn't matter, there's uh, enemies in the cap, it looks like. This should be a lockdown for the enemy. All they have to do is cap, that's it. Just get in the cap. Look, there's tons. Go get in the cap. See, what they're thinking is, let's kill everyone. This is why you cap instead of try to kill everyone, okay? Go cap. Win the game. Take the uh, all the benefits you've got so far, all the damage and everything you've got, and use it to get the extra 50% bonus, okay? That's what you get when you win. But when you get, when you get kind of uh, greedy like this, this is what can happen. Funky Chicken making them pay for every inch of ground here. They have not spotted them yet. They're just getting random damage from the hill, and they're not sure why. And they're not even looking up here. Boom! 3601 getting nailed in the back. It's a really highly armored tank now. Thir the f three fours up here now as well. Sees that Funky Chicken has uh, is doing the right thing here. Being up on the hill, the enemy team doesn't even know where they are. Boom! Another tank goes down to Funky Chicken. Five kills. Already more kills than the rest of his team. Rest of the team, four kills. Funky Chicken, five kills. Boom. The three, four gets another, gets a kill. So now it's even. Funky Chicken, five kills. The rest of the team, five kills. <laughs> Isn't that hilarious? So this enemy team are being morons. So they're they're advancing. There's five of them. They don't know where the friendlies are. I don't know if it's because Funky Chicken keeps shooting different people, and nobody's clicking like the mountains, saying, "Hey, they're up here." The KV-1S does know where they are. Thanks for giving me your side armor, dude. You're pretty dumb. Let's see if we can... Uh, yeah, you're dumb. And you're dead, too. Six kills now for Funky Chicken. Enemy team, dumb. <laughs> That's all I can say. Now, part of this is, yes, the enemy team is being stupid. All great replays have dumb enemy teams, pretty much. It's really rare to see an awesome replay with a good enemy team. It's just pretty rare. Not that they don't happen, but... Usually, if the enemy team's good and your team is good, the, the game will be relatively even. There won't be any great plays or anything. It's just... It's not luck, but it's like... It's not an interesting game most of the time because nobody does anything trick or anything. Nobody does anything that's worth posting. So he's trying to get a shot on this Churchill. Doesn't have the depression for it. He's just not depressed enough. <laughs> the game is not going bad enough, apparently, for him to do, be depressed enough to take this shot. And he waits like a good boy. Boom! You're dead. Get out of my game. He does get spotted right there. The enemy can still cap. They can still go cap right now. There's three of them. Get out of there. Go cap. Nah, not too late for you, but the other guys can run. <laughs> and three leads like, I'm gonna go cap. I'm gonna go cap. The friendly team says, go cap. Or the enemy team's teammates are saying, go cap, go cap. We should have won this. You guys are idiots saying don't cap. <laughs> Boom, you're dead. Nine kills. This is why you cap, people. You get the opportunity to cap, you do your job. So now he's going to go searching for this last guy. He's got six minutes left, plenty of time to hit. No threat, really. He's got no damage. Now he's firing gold because he has no regular AP left. Let's look at the gold rounds real quick. Not that he needs them. 248 pen, 200 damage. 240 damage. That's re really retarded. So we're watching it four times because, you know, why would I waste your time? Comes up into the enemy cap. There's the Hets. Parked way back. I don't know why he should have been capping. And pretty sure he's just about dead. And he's lit. And he's dead. So he might have been AFK. I'm not really sure. Ten kills by Funky Chicken. Awesome game, but really a retarded enemy team. That's why you cap, people. You got the advantage. Cap. Don't search out the last four guys. Just cap, okay? And uh, as always, stay frosty. There will definitely be another video tomorrow. It might not be a World of Tanks replay. Come check back at 4 o'clock. That's when I'm going to try to release all the videos. Uh, always at 4 a.m. 4 a.m. Pacific time. 7, that's 7 a.m. Eastern time. And it's probably like noon or so uh, European time. So anyway, let me know what you think. And as always, stay frosty, guys.